I'm Rie. Today, a friend is challenging me to take a popular food and make it fancy. Today's guest is Alvin. Let's see what I'm making fancy today. Hello, best friend. I love the McDonald's Big Mac and their fries. I think they're incredible. I don't eat it very often, but when I do, it's always nice. So I don't know how you're gonna be able to make them fancy, but if there's anybody that can make the Big Mac and the fries fancy, it's you, Rie, because you're my best friend. And that's what best friends do. They believe in each other, they challenge each other, and I'm excited to see what you make. McDonald's, Big Mac, and French fries. I've had French fries, but I've never had Big Mac. I like hamburgers. Just seeing a package, Big Mac doesn't look like big. Wow, look nice though. Looks very rich and a lot. <laughs> kind of sad looking party. <laughs> Does it have pickles too? Yeah, there is a pickles. Oh. It's not bad. In the past, I always add neutralizing ingredients, but I think I should add more beefy components. And I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate this soggy lettuce, it's not fancy. I think they have one of the best French fries. Alvin has made giant burgers for his show Make It Big, so it is natural he chose Big Mac. He made a giant, but I have to make fancy. This is I feel like one of the most difficult thing to make it fancy because it's one complete meal. Changing this is very hard, but I want to surprise Alvin. I have some great ideas and I'm excited to make it fancy. All right, here's what I got. Short ribs, mushrooms, griot cheese, butter, eggs, beaks, parsley, carrots, celery, thyme, cabbage, onion, garlic, and heavy cream. From the pantry, I got tomato paste, lemon, bay leaves, olive oil, salt, flour, beef stock, canola oil, brown sugar, red wine, and vodka, double alcohol. All right, let's get started. Make it fancy. Okay, so we have short ribs, hot dry with paper towel, sprinkle some salt in both sides. You wanna sprinkle salt in high. It will cover evenly. And heating up some oil, about two tablespoons. This is the first time we use Instant Pot on this show. I don't have Instant Pot at home, but it's very convenient. It usually takes about four hours what I'm making, but if you use Instant Pot, you can make it about 45 minutes. Pot from future. Does it mean like we already in the future? So I am adding short ribs I'm using saute mode. Brown the beef both sides about two to three minutes. Beef is nicely browned. Saute onions, celery, and carrots. Sprinkle some salt so it cooks faster and also seasoning for this. Cook until vegetable is a little bit softened. There is a brown bit bottom of the pot from sauteing beef. That is the flavor comes from. So don't wipe it off from paper towel or anything. Are you familiar with the McDonald's? I just read that in Japan. Uh-huh. Because there's no R sound. Oh, it's this why? So his name is Ronald. I thought he was Donald, like uh, the do duck. Veggies are cooked and softened. Add garlic and thyme. A lot of people want to put garlic before adding anything else, but garlic tends to burn quickly, so you want to add garlic later. Cook until garlic is fragrant, about one to two minutes. Two tablespoon tomato paste. Cook until tomato paste change the color to dark deep red. One tablespoon of brown sugar, one cup of beef stock, one cup of red wine. No, oh, I love this smell like red wine and garlic. I'm putting back beef I sauteed earlier. This juice don't discard. This has a lot of flavor. It's a liquid gold. So you want to make sure beef is submerged in this braising liquid. And I think it's not enough, so I'm gonna just add more wine. The bay leaves, put the lid. You want to press pressure cook mode and set the timer for 45 minutes. 
While it's cooking, let's move on to the next step. Two cup of heavy cream, McDonald's french fries. I don't like drive through in general. I don't like shouting at the machine. I like human interaction. So it is very thick, kind of pale yellow. And I'm going to strain this and press all the wicked out. Processed potato in a food mill. So I learned this trick from my coworker, five on the right side and one on the left side so it doesn't stuck. Food mill helps french fries into the texture I want. If you don't have a food mill, you can use potato ricer. Looks good. Chill this in the fridge about 15 minutes. Potato is chilled and separated pretty nicely. It almost looks like a cauliflower rice, but it's not good for you. <laughs> and I'm adding this into flour. Add salt and toss. Two tablespoons of butter incorporate into the flour and the french fry mixture. You kind of want to make butter into a small bit, almost like a pea size. Butter is well incorporated in the flour. Add one tablespoon of vodka. I recommend put vodka in the freezer. Sprinkle ice water into the flour mixture. A little by little. Gonna knead a little bit and make sure everything is incorporated. Dough came together, cover with plastic, make it a little bit flattened so it's easier to roll. I'm going to put in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. I have cabbage leaves. Blanch them two to three minutes until cabbage is a little bit soft, not crunchy. Shock them in uh, ice water so it will stop cooking. This cabbage almost look like a fake food. Remove the core, chop roughly. I want to keep four nice looking leaves. Set this aside until I'm going to use next time. Burger time. I'm gonna do some operation. Take off buns, scrape soggy lettuce and pickle, cheese. Wow, it's perfectly brown though. I'm gonna set this aside, rough chop the burger. Put in a bowl. It has a different kind of uh, resistance in the meat. It's bouncy, definitely not juicy. And I'm adding back this, this thing. <laughs> Half cup of Gruyere cheese because it has a very sharp cheese flavor. Basically this episode I'm doing everything opposite of past episodes. I'm adding more flavor, not neutralizing. A quarter cup of creme fraiche, tablespoon of chopped parsley, one teaspoon of lemon juice. It is well mixed, set aside. Bake this bread at 350 degree, about 15 to 20 minutes until the bun is completely dried out. Heat up some olive oil, add two leeks, just the white part, not green part. Green part is a little too hard to eat, so you want to use it for stocks. Sprinkle some salt and saute until soft. Leeks are cooked. I have three different kinds of mushrooms, maitake, king trumpet, and baby bella. I want to use three different mushrooms because it will give different texture and flavor. Especially king trumpet has like very nice meaty bites. And I'm gonna add a little bit more oil and salt. Wait, do they have happy meals? We do have Happy Meals in Japan, and I think one of the uh, toys come with it was TY Stuffed Animals, and I bought it. I think I was high school, actually. I might have it in my parents' house. It was monkey. Mushroom is cooked, so I'm adding three cloves of chopped garlic and one teaspoon of thyme. Cook until fragrant. Right, smells great. Remove this from the heat. I'm adding into a bowl. Add chopped cabbage, Big Mac filling, soggy lettuce, onions, Thousand Island dressing, and pickles. The reason I chose cabbage was I want to balance out sogginess of the lettuce with crunchy cabbage. Beautiful. Keep this in the fridge until ready to use. This is the short ribs I cooked in an instant pot. Take out. This kind of beef stew is my favorite kind of food. But that's like a good meal right there, right? Yeah, and there's no McDonald's in it though. Shred beef, look how tender. Put shredded beef in a bowl. 
instant pot. It's great, maybe I should get one. If you don't have instant pot, you can definitely make this in a cast iron pot and cook in the oven, but it will take longer. So if you don't want to use red wine, you can just use beef stock, but I don't think you have that rich flavor. Cover shredded beef with braising liquid to prevent beef is drying out. So make sure remove the bay leaf because uh, you cannot eat it. And I have some blazing liquid leftover, but I want to use for something else. Okay, so I have a lot of components, so let's recap. I have blanched cabbage leaves, mushroom and leek stuffing, shredded beef, and Big Mac cheese filling. I've got this glass bowl lined with plastic. Put cabbage leaves stem side down, and the leaf side is kind of hanging. Add half of this mushroom leek mixture. Press it down. You can also see the pickles right here. <laughs> Great to see you again. Add shredded beef. Oh, this is everything I love. Kind of pressing down again. Big Mac burger cheese mixture. Press it down. And add rest of the mushroom mix. I'm arranging cabbage leaf so the stuffing doesn't expose. Seal the bottom with cabbage and close the dome. Cover with plastic so it doesn't dry out. Chill this in the refrigerator about 30 minutes. This is the buns I toasted earlier. It is, <laughs> it's hard. Break. It's a little bit, little piece. The bun was already a little dry side, but we toast it so we can make the crumbs. Add in a food processor. I'm going to set aside and move on to the next step. I have two tablespoons of butter. Melt this in the pot. And one cup of mushroom. It's the same mushroom I used earlier. Saute them until soften. One crushed of garlic and one teaspoon of thyme and season with salt. Adding one cup of beef stock, short ribbed braising liquid, one cup. Increasing the heat, quarter cup of breadcrumb. Usually you thicken gravy with flour, but um, I'm using breadcrumb from Big Mac buns. This is a kind of trick ingredient. He's in New York and I'm in LA, but you know, we text each other sometimes. We are good friends. We are making videos for our new channel called About To Eat. This is the logo. Check it out and subscribe. Bring this to a boil and simmer until gravy thickens. So it seems like a nice thickness. And now I'm going to strain, kind of stir to make sure all the liquids is coming through. Adding strained gravy back into a frying pan and heat over medium high heat. Once it simmers, I'm adding butter. Looks good. It's nice and thick. Set this aside and move on to the next step. Pie dough with french fries. This was chilling in the refrigerator. Sprinkle some flour so it doesn't stick on the surface. Sprinkle on top a little bit. Rolling pin. And constantly adding flour so it doesn't stick. Doesn't smell like french fry anymore. And keep rotating so you can roll like a round shape. In the 80s, McDonald's tried to make pizza. Oh, how did it go? <laughs> That's why we don't see pizza in McDonald's. I'm going to cut with a knife, brush off the excess flour on top, and transfer to a um, baking sheet pan. I'm using fork, dock this pie dough so it doesn't shrink. And using a um, pastry brush, brush egg wash no. lima. Only set this aside for now. I have puff pastry. Sprinkle some flour and roll. Unwrap the plastic part. Unmold cabbage dome. Dab this with a paper towel. Cover cabbage dome with puff pastry and use your hands and tuck it in. Use the same glass bowl and cut excess dough. Use your thumb and crimp like you crimp pie dough. You want to brush egg wash. When you bake the pie, it will give nice shine. You just want to score so you don't want to cut through. And in between line, I'm going to make another line. Use piping tip, cut, 
leftover pastry and cut out. Use both sides and make look like a donut. And put donut on top, just the dough part, so the steam escape and it doesn't too puffy. Cover with egg wash and put one more donut and finish with egg wash. Gonna add a little bit more lime. Sprinkle some sesame seeds. Sesame seeds kind of adds nice accent and it kind of look like the Big Mac bun. I'm going to put this in a refrigerator and chill about 30 minutes and bake this at 425 for 15 minutes so it will get nice brown color. Reduce the heat to 350 and bake another 45 minutes so everything cooks it. So my McDonald petit beer is baked and cooled and I'm going to put it in a plate. Here it's the gravy and we are done. McDonald's Big Mac French Fry Petit Beer. Very fancy. This is something you cannot get from drive through Let's see what Alvin thinks. Hello, best friend. Hi. This may be the most challenging thing. I'm sorry that I put so much pressure on you. So I actually never had a Big Mac before. Rie, the next time I'm in LA, I'm gonna take you out to dinner and I'm gonna buy you a Big Mac. Oh, what is that? Wait, there's a name for this. Is it a Big Mac Petivier? Yes! I wanna see what's inside. I'm mind blown right now, Rie. Whoa, wow, look at those layers. This looks like something you could order at a restaurant. Thank you. I'm sorry you cannot eat it. I'll pretend, I'll eat with you. Imaginary Petivier. Oh yeah. Mmm, so many textures in there. Well, honestly, that, that looks really legitimately a really great interpretation of a Big Mac. So Alvin, did I make McDonald's fancy? Rie, best friend, I think you 100% made McDonald's fancy. Thank you, best friend. All right, so Alvin, we have one last thing to do. Yes, we do. Three, two, one. Make, Make it, it fancy. fancy.